Hamilton is by far the reigning champion of watches on the silver screen. Their watches are featured in over 500 major films since 1932. But these orological cameos, more often than not, were limited to either usage of vintage or existing current models, sometimes remixed in a new color scheme to tie into the movie. Other instances have required the development of an entirely new watch, or even assisting in the development of the Murph prop watch with its Morse code stuttering second hand. As many of you likely already know, the long-awaited part two of Dune is coming soon to theaters internationally beginning February 28th. And surprise, Hamilton adds Dune Part 2 to a long list of films they have assisted in with a watch. Now the watch that appears in the film and the two new limited editions Hamilton are launching are not one and the same. This so-called desert watch, prop watch, is exclusive to the fictional land of Arrakis. Hamilton explained to us that at the director's request, Hamilton worked alongside the film's prop master, Doug Harlocker, to craft a watch for another world that defies traditional watch norms. With no knowledge of the device's function, but guided by the lore of Frank Herbert's Dune and the director's vision for the film, Hamilton's designers created a hard-wearing, distinctly Fremen device that perfectly embodied Harlocker's artistry and earn the director's blessing on the final design. What you are able to potentially purchase and wear are two limited edition Ventura watches, each inspired by the distinct blue hue of the Fremen's eyes and elements of the prop watch's design. The Ventura XXL Bright Dune Limited Edition, as its name suggests, is packaged in a very large 50 meter water resistant black PVD coated stainless steel Ventura case, clocking in at 46.6 millimeters in diameter, a somewhat slender 11.8 millimeters thick, and a small for its diameter lug to lug of 52 millimeters. It is outfitted on a 23 and a half millimeter width black rubber strap with a pin buckle closure. So definitely do not expect to play strap monster with this one. With the quartz movement, this Ventura XXL Bright Dune utilizes an analog display for the hours, minutes, and seconds. Its black dial also bordered with blue accents, reminiscent of the button and line seen on the Desert Prop Watch, that light up on demand. The Ventura Edge Dune Limited Edition, the second watch in this series, follows the same black and blue accented color scheme, but has a slightly different shape with its 47.2 millimeter diameter and 51 millimeter lug to lug measurement. It is also two millimeters thicker at 13.8 millimeters, but the trade off is that the Ventura Edge Dune is twice as water resistant with a 100 meter depth rating. The primary visual distinction is whereas the Ventura XXL Bright Dune uses an analog display, the Ventura Edge Dune has a digital display that mimics the relief seen on the prop watch. It also has on-demand blue backlighting for the digital display, but in a more sparse sense than the Ventura XXL Bright Dune. The backlighting is limited to the hours and minutes displayed on the display and the line in between the two displays along with the button. So not as much as the Ventura XXL Bright Dune. The Ventura Edge Dune is also quartz driven and it also finds itself on a black rubber strap with a pin buckle closure, but the lug width of this strap is 23 millimeters. So at least there's no half millimeter. But then again, I really don't think you're gonna wanna switch up the strap on this watch. I think Hamilton did well in reinterpreting the prop watch into two Ventura watches, which while not one-to-one -one in shape, offer that sense of futurism that made the Ventura a perfect match for films like Men in Black. They are certainly bold and large designs, so I do not know if these pieces will have the same immediate appeal as, say, the Hamilton Khaki Murph. I also wonder if at their large sizing, it would have been a better move to have one larger and one smaller edition to open up the limited edition series to a wider spectrum of wrists. But let me know what you think in the comments below. The Hamilton Ventura XXL Bright Dune is limited to 3,000 pieces and is priced at 1,750 US dollars while the Hamilton Ventura Edge Dune will be limited to 2,000 pieces and it will be priced at 2,500 US dollars. 
So here's the deal. I know that there are plenty of you watching this right now who probably searched Dune and have never searched for a watch before that haven't subscribed to this channel. So I heard a rumor that if you don't hit that subscribe button, a sandworm from the Dune film is gonna come out of the screen and swallow you whole. No, not really. But it would mean the world to us if you hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Time and Tide channel for all the latest watch news, reviews, and content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.